looking for my college after senior year of high school. I was definitely interested in being near New York City. Um, so I was looking at schools in the area and I actually went on usatoday.com and did a search and Hofstra was one of the top 50 drama schools for private universities. I came here and I loved the campus and um, I loved the feel of it and it just, it felt right and um, it ended up being a really good fit. I've had a good, good four years so it was a good decision. My role in Undeclared History is Diana, and she is this um, small town girl from New Jersey who comes to Hofstra and um, starts getting involved in some of the anti-war protests that are going on, and she meets Finn, who is a, a veteran from the war and is injured. He um, has lost his arm. They sort of build this relationship, and uh, at first it seems great and she thinks they have a real chance together and as the play goes on you know there are some difficulties that come up in their relationship. In the end she finds that instead of protesting uh, for the war her way of fighting against uh, the war that's going on is through her writing. So she becomes very involved in journalism, she uh, starts writing for the Chronicle and she kind of finds that that's that's her way of fighting, that's her outlet, um, as opposed to some of the more radical uh, protests that go on. At the end of the play, we actually find her um, two years later in 1972, and she's a reporter. Um, she's very well established as a writer, so that's kind of her, her arc of the story. Undeclared history has definitely been a unique experience um, as a drama major here. Um, it's a new play. It's never been performed. We we're the first cast to uh, dig into it. Um, it was written by Isaac Rathbone, who is an uh, alumni here at Hofstra. And um, his expertise is actually in historical plays. And what he's done is he's taken uh, a lot of uh, actual um, dialogue from interviews and worked it into the play. So some of the words that you're hearing are actual things that people from that time period from Hofstra uh, had said and their opinions of that time. A lot of the locations and uh, settings that take place in the play are on Hofstra. So um, it's been really neat. We've actually had rehearsals on location. A big scene for Diana is uh, a sit-in that happened on the Unispan. And um, teachers and students came and sat. It was a very peaceful, um, candlelight uh, sort of sit-in that took place on the Unispan, so we went and worked on it on location, which was very neat. The fact that it's a new play, we were, you know, constantly having new texts thrown at us, uh, new ideas, always changing and evolving, um, so we definitely had to stay on our feet, um, which is a good lesson to learn uh, as a drama major going into the professional theater world. Some of these protests that happened, they were very important events in people's lives. And I think especially the Long Island community, who maybe some people who even lived at that time who were going to come see it, we definitely want to represent as accurately as possible um, what that time was like and um, just the, the whole feel of that time because it was such a unique time period in our history. I have had a great experience through the Hofstra Drama Department. I have had so many opportunities um, both on stage and off stage um, in the classroom. Um, I am definitely very grateful and blessed um, for the work I've been able to do. I, I feel definitely prepared to, uh, to go out into the theater world and relatively confident that I, I could do almost anything. It is a very vibrant, exciting portrayal of a very unique time in our history and you're seeing all these what you imagine of the 1960s you see it come alive in very real developed characters in uh, this brand new script that has never been seen before ever we're the founders of this this new piece so Hofstra is making history in itself in undeclared history <laughs>